I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and congratulations, you have just purchased the Mila CX-1 Blizzard Electro Plus Canister Vacuum Cleaner. And what I'm here to do is to help you, A, make sure that you have everything here that is on this table. And then I'm gonna tell you what all of those things are and then I'm gonna show you how to set up your machine so that you can use this to its full capacity so you are gonna be just on a cleaning spree before you know it. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm just gonna kind of tell you what all of these things that you see on the table are. Um, this is your canister body. This is your electric telescoping wand. So how it telescopes is there is a button on the back of this wand and if you press that button, um, you can extend your wand and this will help you um, add a, a higher cleaning reach to whatever you're trying to do, whether it's to get down and clean your baseboards or if you're trying to um, vacuum your crown molding or the ceiling, it's really nice to have that added length. Um, your model comes with three cleaning attachments, two of which are gonna be able to be stored on the body of your canister. And then your dusting brush is just gonna need to be stored separately. And I'll show you where those go in a little bit. Um, this is your hard flooring attachment. It is the parquet hard flooring attachment. So it turns on a dial, it goes wherever you want it to go. It's really good about getting um, around corners of tables or close up to the baseboards. And um, you never have to um, sweep again. It's actually really nice. So this will dust and vacuum your hard flooring all at once. So it's really nice. Just vacuum and mop and you are good to go. This is your electric carpeting power head and there are five height settings on it. So you can clean any pile carpeting. Level one is going to be the closest to your carpeting. So for lower pile carpet and then level five is going to be the furthest away from your carpet. So the highest setting. So what I always recommend is you start on level five and then work your way down. It should be very easy to, um, kind of steer your vacuum. You don't need ever want to be pushing your power head around. It should be powering itself. It has its own separate motor inside of it. So you just need to make sure that you're gonna be um, finding initially the right height setting for your carpeting um, so that you're not, you're not gonna have to have a workout. You should just be able to steer it. So start at level five, work your way down to something that is very easy to um, push and yet it's still cleaning everything that it's in its path. And once you connect your wand to your power head, which I'll show you in a little bit, um, how you release your lever is you press on the back left. So if you're standing behind your power head like I am, the right side is going to be your height setting and then the left side is going to release your wand from the upright lock position. And that's gonna be how you're actually gonna be able to turn it. And then this is your electric hose. On your hose, I want you to look at, there's a little button on it and there's an X and an O. So the X is going to propel, it's gonna tell your vacuum to turn on the spinning brush roll on your carpeting power head, and O is gonna tell it to turn it off. So if you have a carpet that it's delicate and you can't use a spinning brush roll on it, the O, um, suction, or the o setting is gonna be really good because you're just going to be vacuuming via pure suction. And then when you have it on the X um, setting, it's going to be propelling your electric um, brush roll. So. Let's see. Okay, so now, um, oh, and you also have these two manuals. So one is gonna be for your canister itself, and then the other one is going to be for your electric carpeting power head. And um, there's also a serial number on the bottom of your power head. And so that is going to, um, if you have any problems or warranty aspects with that, um, there's a serial number there. I'm gonna show you where the serial number on your vacuum cleaner is. So if you turn your vacuum around, there's a silver sticker on the bottom of it, on the wheel side, and your serial number is going to start with zero, zero slash, and then a nine digit number. And that is going to be used for any warranty purposes or if you need to replace anything or you need replacement parts in the future. And then your serial number is gonna start with, a, or I'm sorry, your model number is gonna start with an S and then it's gonna be followed by either letters or numbers or a combination of both. And so, the reason I'm telling you where your serial number and your model number are is because this really helps us help you in the long run. So if there's anything that you need for your vacuum cleaner, you wanna to add to you know, accessories and things, it's really nice to know what exact model you have so then we can tell you everything that will work with your machine. And then your name for your machine is right on the front portion. It's right below your Mila logo and it'll tell you exactly what it's called. So Mila names all of their vacuums. So this is the Electro Plus. So on the front portion, 
there is going to be a dial and there's gonna be some buttons. And this dial, it may or may not be turned to minimum or maximum, it could be in the middle. If you're gonna turn it all the way to the left, that's gonna be your minimum suction setting. And then you're gonna increase, um, and you have four suction settings for this model. So it's gonna start with delicate, you're gonna do airy rugs, then carpeting, and then finally your highest suction setting is, is like a little parquet. Um, setting. So I recommend personally that you stay on maximum suction and then just adjust your carpeting height adjustment. Maximum suction is going to be the most power. You're going to get the deepest clean. So that's just my opinion. And then um, this is your power button. It's the circle with a line through it. That'll turn your vacuum on. And then um, this other button is um, has a looks like a little cord with a little outlet on it. That's to rewind your cord into the canister body itself. So you're not going to have to sit there and wind a cord. Just is stored inside the canister body. It's a very nice feature. So let me show you a little bit about your... Um, filtration and how you're gonna empty your canister. So how you're gonna take out your dustbin is you're gonna pull up on this little handle and this is your dustbin. All of the debris that you're cleaning out of your home is gonna be stored in this part. And then there's a little orange, um, like a lever. And if you press that, it'll release your um, the bottom of this bin. And so that's what you will empty into your trash can. So you don't have to touch it. You don't have to breathe anything. It's a really nice feature with these Mila's. And then this is another filter. Looks like this. These are both washable. We recommend you wash them at least once a month, but make sure that you are letting them fully, fully dry before you're putting them back in your machine. So your HEPA filter, is located in this little cylindrical thing. I don't even really know what to call it, but it looks just like this. And so you can access your HEPA filter by turning this and this, we also recommend you wash this as well. So you can rinse that out, you can wash this out, and then again, let it dry completely. They say about 24 hours, um, and then to put it in direct sunlight. But if you are, if it's, you know, not sunny where you live or it's that time of year where it's not sunny. Um, just make sure you're letting it dry fully completely. Um, give it a couple of days before you put it back in your machine because water damage will destroy your vacuum. So to put it back in, you just kind of twist it and then it'll snap back in. So those are your filters. This is your dustbin. And then you're gonna put it this side facing the machine. And then you're gonna push this down. So then while we're looking at the bottom of this machine, these are where your little cleaning attachments are gonna go. So this is your upholstery tool and that just slides in right there. And then your crevice nozzle, it's gonna slide in on the other side. So this is really nice. So when you're cleaning, you're gonna be able to have really easy access to your two most commonly used cleaning attachments. Um, unfortunately, they don't have a, um, a little place for the dusting brush. You're just gonna have to either carry that around or just put it, I just put mine in the back of my pocket. So if you put your canister on the floor like this, wheel side down, um, I'm gonna show you how to connect and use all of your attachments that you have here. So bear with me while I fight this hose. When they're new, they're always the hardest. So this is the side that you're gonna plug into the canister. You may or may not hear a click, but you'll know it's in. You just wiggle it a little bit. So then after you connect your hose to the canister, you can use your cleaning attachments at the base of your handle, which is really, really nice. Um, you can put your handle directly into your carpeting attachment. And this is a nice feature if you have um, carpeted stairs. A lot of people like to vacuum their carpeted stairs with an electric power head. So this will take the length of the wand out of the equation. And then to release any attachments or your wand or your handle, you're just going to press down on this little lever and pull up. And then you're gonna attach your wand to your handle. Again, I mentioned the X and the O earlier. X is gonna turn this power head on. O is gonna turn it off. So I always like to show people, there is a little reservoir on your canister. 
And this is how you can store your canister, which is a really nice thing that I like about Mila. There's also a little storage um, reservoir on the back side, the wheel side as well. So if you want to store it like this, or if you want to store it standing up, it just kind of consolidates it, gets it a little bit, you know, more compact. So you can really easily put it into a closet. So this is your um, CX-1 Blizzard Electro Plus. I hope I was able to give you a little bit insight into everything that's included with this model. We really love this model. It's a great model. It's going to be something you're going to have for many, many years to come. But if there's anything else that you have questions about, please reach out to us. You can reach out to us via phone. We have a live chat feature on our website and we also um, you can also reach out to us via email. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming. Thank you.